Good morning, everyone. This is Elizabeth Rocha, and today we have our second crock pot recipe for the week. And today we are making some chicken chile verde. Now, you guys have all the ingredients listed. You also get the instructions for today. But if you need to see, you know, how we're actually putting this together today, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a step-by-step -step demonstration. Hope you guys already had your coffee. I'm having my cup of coffee. Just got done with my workout, so feeling really great this morning. And I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way and just have it ready to go. It is a busy day today as well, so I hope that you guys have an amazing day and um, you guys get your crock pots ready to go. Don't forget to push start before you leave this morning. Okay, so I have my, my boneless chicken breast, and I like to get the ones from Kirk... Um, from Costco, these are the Kirkland single package individually wrapped um, boneless chicken. And I have here eight pieces, so about two pounds. And I'm gonna go ahead and place them all inside my crock pot. Okay, and, and again, you can squeeze them in there. And either way that you're gonna get all the juices and flavors all inside the crock pot once you put everything together. Okay, so I have all my chicken breasts put inside my crock pot. Now I have my one large onion diced, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that all over, um, squeeze it inside the cracks of all the chicken breast in there, just so that all the pieces get all the good flavor in there. I have my 12 minced garlic cloves. Now, I had these whole cloves and I just minced them all with the grater. You can also buy them already minced. So if you need to save some time, make sure you get the ones that are already minced. So again, this is the, the garlic. And again, I'm gonna spread that all around, get that in there so all the chicken gets all the good flavors. And then you're gonna add your cumin. And again, you have all your um, in measurements listed below. And I have my pepper. This is one fourth, right, of pepper. You can add some more. This is all, you know, depending on how you like it, but you do what tastes great for you. And we have our Himalayan pink salt. And I use pink salt because it's this is more pure than the iodized salt, okay? Um, you always wanna have less intake of sodium. You don't wanna overdo it. That's what creates all the bloating in our body. And then we have here, I do have a jar of La Victoria. This is 16 ounces. And it already has some diced onion and um, other herbs in there or you can make your own homemade chile verde. Now today, I'm gonna use my homemade chile verde and I will share a video in the group. All right, everyone, I just finished putting in my green salsa. Now, I do make my own homemade salsa and the reason why I do that is because I know exactly how much sodium is going into my foods. I definitely do prefer that. It's just less sodium means less bloating less craziness around the tummy and I know a lot of us really um, have a hard time with that and I know I still do because sometimes I won't make everything at home and I can feel the difference the following day. But again, if you use the Victoria or any of the um, salsas that you decided to use for today's recipe, that's completely fine. We are going for simple and convenient, but at the same time delicious. So don't feel bad or don't worry about using um, La Victoria or a store-bought kind. It's completely fine because I use it sometimes as well. Now I went ahead and mixed it all in there. If you want to add about half a cup of water or half a cup of low sodium chicken broth, it's completely fine. Maybe you don't see it that it's gonna be juicy enough. Well, that's up to you so you can add that to it. It's not gonna make, you know, it's not gonna hurt the flavor of the chicken, but you can go ahead and add that to it. And then I have it on low for six and a half hours. Now, if you wanna put it on high so it can cook faster, you can put it at, on high for about four and a half to five hours. And this should be ready to go. You can make some tacos, and you can make a burrito bowl if you don't want to use tortillas. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe. And please, please share your pictures below today and have an amazing day. Bye-bye, everyone.